morning guys Saturday morning guess what it's raining so you probably can hear the pitter patter of the rain on the greenhouse um, today we are going to be potting up some brassica some tomatoes I'm with my puffer I'm going to take you for a tour of our greenhouses Two tons of peas coming on really well. I was going to put them in the cold frame to start hardening them off tonight, but tonight is supposed to be a widespread frost, and as they're not used to it, I think it's the wrong night to do it. Calendula doing well, and remember, um, I saved some of Pete's. Do you remember I saved some of my friend's periwinkle? cuttings that were in some hydroponics gel and weren't surviving well the tips of them seem to be picking up and seem to be a lot greener okay let's go and have a look at the full greenhouse right these are okay these are the leeks and onions red and white and second sowing I did for my friend who's been overseas for the spring so we're going to take those back to them. Here are the um, Rob Smith current tomatoes. They've been grafted on a hardy rootstock so they can grow outside on a self-facing wall. Um, I've got tomatoes to pull up in John Onions number two because it's got just that bit more nutrients. Um, here we've got various flowers, a lot of cosmos to plant up. This is where I need help guys. I, I'm sure you've got one tray in your greenhouse. I lost the label. I'm pretty sure it's some sort of flower rather than veg or fruit. Um, I'd really love you to tell me what it is. So if you would know, if you've got some ideas, put it in the comments box below. Thank you. Petunia, coming on really fine. Um, really hard to prick out, so I'm going to you know, make or allow them a couple or two weeks before I do that. Basil, purple. I've been advised to plant them when I put them up in clumps because they prefer it. Can't remember where I saw that. It was either in a magazine or I've been watching Claire's allotment. So maybe from that. More tomatoes. Cut and come again salad. Lettuce. Here's what I'll be pricking out today, some purple sprouting. More tomatoes, always end up growing more tomatoes. But if you can see up here, what's exciting is we've got two shoots on our dahlias that we can take as tuber cuttings. So they've taken a long time to come up. I told you before I have great trouble sweet peas but there's three I've got parsley coriander more cosmos oh what's this ah now I was given some seeds called quaking grass for the garden and they shot up really quickly how exciting so quaking grass I've got a bean come in a couple more tomatoes to prick out and that will be my job for today I'm confined to a greenhouse so we'll do some planting out I uh, hope you can join me 
in my cold frame. I have broad beans, garlic and onion. They all seem to be doing quite well. So when I'm up and running, start thinking about taking those through a lot. Right, this is a beef style tom. And I think it's called Florentina. Okay, and I'm just going to show you how to prick out the seedlings. Okay, so your seedlings, um, when they're, they're usually ready, um, quite often when their um, true leaves start coming through, um, I might be doing these a bit early, but um, I want to put them into John Innes number two. So I've labelled the pot, I make a hole, whoops, make a hole, I'll start again. I've labelled, I've labelled the pots. This um, pen is really easy to scrape off at the end of the season when you want to use it for something else. I've labelled the pots. I put in John Innes number two. These seedlings were in John Innes number one. Make a hole. When you're working with seedlings, try not to handle the stem, handle the leaf. Then carefully put it into the pot. Oops, that one's a bit deep. There we go. As you can see, I've planted the tomato deeper than it was in the tray. That's because tomatoes have the capacity of um, growing roots from the stem, and that's going to make for a sturdier plant later on. Well, there we go. That's done. <coughs> Inevitably it always grow more and this is just one of several types of tomatoes I'm growing. So um, I give them to friends who don't do their tomatoes for seed or ultimately um, you could sell them outside the front door. Okay now we're going to plant coriander and flat leaf parsley and I might do a couple of plants to a pot because often herbs when you see they're bought there's several in a pot hopefully it's the right thing to do um, look like they start to need to go into Johnny's number two so that's the next job of the day I finally found out what this is Foxtail lilies. No real sign of growth there. I think the buds may be bigger. What I think was the peony is showing a little bit of growth. There we go. I think at all, nothing at all yet. From the flowering fern. Nor the gypsophilia, eh, mate? Bays. Mm. See you at the allotment. Okay, the job for today is to make the skeletons of this polytunnel into brassica tunnels. Um, we are going to use scaffold netting, cable ties to start with and see how that goes. So, show you later how we're progressing. Right, well, buying exactly the right with, um, meterage width, that was down to Andrew because I'm pooey at maths, we have got the outside of a Brasca tunnel. Now we've got to make a back and try and create some sort of door system. Okay, switch you soon. Right, polytunnel covered. We have got to secure it with the um, electric fencing. 
posts. They're great. I've used them before with the polytunnel frame and that's never moved. We are going to rig up a door. There we go. In we go. And that will be fastened with bulldog clips round here. And the make sure the door has two layers and there's no gaps for insects. It's turned out lovely at the allotment, it's a beautiful day. Um, obviously I'm restricted to light duties, but we've created our brassica cage, put in our clocks for beans, and over here made a string harp for the peas. So I saw this on the internet. It's probably not as good. There we go. So brassica net artichoke, some chard that survived the winter. Beans, do salad veg along here and down here. This is probably going to be for sweet corn, broad beans, um, swede, all that type of thing. And over here in the corner is going to be potatoes, and we're going to be perhaps plant those today. So <clears throat> I'm going to have a break. Um, lovely to be on the allotment again, although only on night duties. <coughs> um, it's all very exciting. Here's the allotment, there's the beans, our brassica tunnel, black currants, figs. I've done the plan of what I want to plant where. So, get in there. Hello children, today through the round window we're looking at an allotment. If you're very very quiet you might get to see a ginger gardener. <gasps> Look, there she is, stabbing things with her electric fence posts. Don't disturb her, otherwise we might get to hear naughty words and rude signs and we don't want that, do we? Anyway, it's time to go now, say goodbye. Bye ginger gardener, bye bye.